you've been quite successful. Your books have been published all over the world and translated in how many languages? Oh, I don't know, 10. 10 languages. And you have hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of readers. And people have resonated with your experience through life. And most recently, you went through something which you recorded for us in, in this book, Beyond the Mirror. It's about something that happened to you, an accident. Would you tell us a little about it? Because it brings us close to the deeper reality of life, and that is facing death. Well, you know, <laughs> it all started very simply. Uh, you know, it started with a, with a, a lot of impatience in me. I wanted to get somewhere at 7 o'clock in the morning, and it was slippery, and I couldn't take my car. So I decided to walk. When I, when I came to the main road, I got impatient and I wanted to hitchhike. So I was standing on the road, it was, it was foggy, and I, and I got mad. I actually got mad at people who didn't stop, you know. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense, but in fact, I was mad at those people driving their car uh, alone and they having three places left and didn't stop for me, you know. Poor me. And I said, well, why don't you stop? Why don't you stop? And I have to get there. And, and it's know, freezing and icy. It was freezing and icy, but people obviously were... So finally, I in a way got much too close to the traffic. Maybe I just wanted to force people to stop. Well, a little van um, just hit me with the, the mirror, the right mirror, and so pushed me right up, and I fell on the floor, on the ground, on the road, and I broke a lot of ribs. And the man who hit me finally came to me and brought me to the emergency, and I suddenly realized there that it was more than a few broken ribs and, and that I was really uh, uh, very close to death. And I'm a very anxious, basically, a nervous person. I'm not at all sort of the peaceful person. And what became such, such a surprise to me, and like a spiritual surprise, was that, that when I was suddenly realizing I might not live much longer, I, I had this very deep, deep sense of peace. And not only that, but a deep sense that, that Jesus very concretely appeared to me and says, you know, don't be afraid, you know. Come, you, you, you always, you can come home. Uh, I've been waiting for you, and you've been waiting for me, and uh, this is the time to come home. You know, my problem with dying was, uh, was that I had some conflict with some people that were not resolved. You know, there were some people that I was angry with, some people that were angry with me, some people I had not forgiven, other people hadn't forgiven me. And, and so a friend of mine came and I said, now, if I die, please, you know, tell these people that I have forgiven them and ask them to forgive me. And when I f had let go of that, I, I, I felt totally ready to sort of move right into a new place, you know, mm -hmm. to the place that Jesus had prepared for me. And I really had that very, I had that experience very deep in me. It was not a sorrow, it was a, a sense of safety. You're okay, yeah. you're safe, you're loved. So, so when I was sort of put on the table uh, to be operated on, I, I, and I saw this nurse putting this uh, anesthetic in me, I thought, well, it's my way home, I'm ready to go, and, <laughs> and I just said, wonderful. So you can imagine when he woke up the next day and I was back in the emergency room. <laughs> it was somewhat of a disappointment. I mean, at some point. One of the things know, in I, the book that I thought was fascinating was that, you know, when we're sick, everybody sends you get well cards. And when you're really sick, uh, if you are close to death, they're all praying that you're going to live. Mm. And all our lives, we're kind of anticipating the joys of heaven. So nobody mm. seems to be saying, oh boy, I'm getting close. Now, one of the comments you made was about the fact that nobody alludes to that. Would you comment on it? Well, you know, it is true. I mean, uh, Paul, the, the Apostle Paul, speaks a lot of his desire to be united with Christ, to be totally united with Jesus and through Jesus with, with God, um, his desire to come home. And I must say, you know, that's very part of my experience. I, I, I do realize that my my primary desire is to be united with Jesus and to live in communion with Jesus. And, and so in that sense, I, I, I was surprised in a way that, that people were so eager to keep me on this side 
of reality, whereas we all say that on the other side of reality is the greatest joy and the greatest peace, and that's our real home. And obviously I really appreciated people wanting me to get better. And you were glad but, to, to but, live too. But at the same time, uh, I, I, I was, became very acutely aware how, how, uh, how we're not used to help people to, to, to go, to go home. Yeah. And that's in a way what we all, uh, we all in, a, in a way, we all, we all talk about a lot in the liturgy and in our prayers and, and we speak about yeah. eternal life and so. And so I was in a little bit um, uh, uh, surprised about that. What has, the, what has the whole experience taught you about life uh, now that you're back and these Well, I'll tell you, no, let me try to say that well. Okay. What it taught me about life is this that you, you live life better when you are not afraid of death. And, when in, uh, and that is to say, when you know that your belonging is not just anchored into the things that happen in this world, but is anchored in God. See, the, 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 the experience of this accident was that I don't belong to the world, like Jesus said, but I belong to God. Now, I knew that here, but after the accident, I knew it all the way through. I, I belong to God, that's where I am safe, that's where my home is, that's where I am in, that's where I'm living in. And, and, and if I, to the degree that I live that belonging, I can then be sent into the world and do the things for the kingdom of God, but without being too uh, caught up in things. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like, and what that accident this is was like turning everything around. Like uh, from from feeling that this is my primary home and maybe I, I I I will ever be with God to sort of feeling more how much to God I belong yeah. and then I was sent back into the world yes. to do to do uh, whatever ministry. 